Felt like we had a pretty good game plan coming into this game, knowing who this team was we were playing against. Knew that they were uh, traditionally, the DNA is the three-point shot. But the more important piece was to drive another basketball and the offensive rebound. Um, disappointed, frustrated um, that we worked on this for a few days and got in the game and did not execute, and it falls on me, the staff, the players, all of us. Um, nobody's without blame, um, and we all are um, talking about how we hold each other accountable more than we already do. Um, no slight to, to their team, uh, but they came in here and uh, they beat us in every category, pretty much. Questions? Yeah, Kenny, after such a tough loss on Saturday, um, how do you explain just, you know, not getting any sort of a better effort from the team um, uh, tonight against Arkansas State? Um, you know, I, I think, guys, in the first half, we didn't play great. Uh, but we did a decent job, not a good enough job, to be honest with you. But in the second half, I thought we, again, played selfish, evident by three assists evident by guys just driving the ball and playing to score for themselves and not their teammates. First half, I thought we did have a multitude of plays where the ball moved around and we got good shots, we just missed good shots. Um, but the defensive effort, the gambling on the ball, not keeping the ball in front, it all played a part in um, us being on our heels on defense and them shooting 51 percent. I think they shot 25 for 43 on two-point field goal attempts. They just seemed to straight line drive you guys a bunch. Why, why do you think you had so much trouble staying in front of them? Um, I think that we allowed the, the, the offensive player to get close to us and we worked all week on a drill called retreat drill where we never let keep the guy in front and we just retreat and we move him in the lane. Um, and we, our hips stay square. So what we did was we let him get into us and then we opened up our stance, which gave them a free lane to the basket. Um, it's hard to do, but you got to do it. you got to find a way to keep that ball in front of you. you got to find a way to not gamble, be disciplined. Um, and then after that, we got to help each other. You know, we seem to be disconnected defensively as well as offensively down the stretch. Uh, Kenny, you kind of touched upon the accountability factor there. Is there anything that you felt personally from a head coaching perspective you could have done more or better or different tonight? Um, of course, I'm, I'm always critiquing myself. Um, and, you know, I want guys to figure this out. I want guys to understand how important it is that they play for each other. Um, and I'm constantly preaching it. Um, they say they understand, um, but their actions at times say otherwise. Um, so I have to continue to ask them questions on what can I do more to make sure that they fully understand what it takes to be a winning basketball player, but more importantly, a winning basketball team. Kenya, I was curious how you kind of approached the, uh, the, for lack of a better phrase, the messaging part of being a head coach. Because bringing up Karan's uh, dismissal from the team, we, when he was absent before, it was like he's not in trouble. <coughs> and I'm trying to connect how it goes from not in trouble to now no longer there. I think we, um, in reference to Karan, we put out a statement, correct? You know, the statement is pretty plain. I don't want to really dwell in it. Um, I care about the kid, and I wish him the best, and I think that's what we said in the, in the statement. Kenny, uh, about Quran being in attendance tonight, um, 
what, what does that say about the relationship between Quran and this program, the fact that he was still there for the women's game, for your game as well, he was sitting in the stands uh, in Section 119, and kind of thoughts on that? Um, I would ask you the question, what does that mean to you? came out with a statement. I'm not really trying to, trying to dwell in it. Um, it's emotional for me, um, simply because he's a good kid. And, you know, it's one of those circumstances, but we've already addressed it. Last one on this for me, anyway. Um, there were two statements. Uh, I, I know that there was one that he was transferred and one that he was dismissed. and that. People are confused as to what, you know, why it transpired that way. Can you shed any light on that? I cannot shed any light on it. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, that's pretty much it. As far as the team itself and where they are as a team, and even you and your staff, it just, you know, negativity just, just starts to kind of pile in on you. Um, how do you deal with that with them? I think it affected them in this game, maybe too, once they got behind. How do you, what do you do? Because it snowballs, it feels like. Um, you know, for me, I try to constantly talk to them about what's important. Um, and I use it as teaching moments. Um, I think that sometimes, you know, fans, critics, um, they look at something and they, they see it just in wins and losses and not really fully understanding that there's young people that um, read, hear everything that people say. Um, and that hurts them because they trusted to come here. Uh, they trusted, um, and this is a part of the journey, the journey to be a great player, the journey to be, um, to conquer yourself is to be able to handle clutter, to handle chaos, to handle critics, to handle and then still be true to who you say you are and what you want and your goals and aspirations. Um, you know, I think that they are learning that. Um, I think that they want to win. I think that they, they work hard, but something has to happen within them to where they are able to show it. And I'm constantly talking about we have to earn respect, that it's not going to be given to us. Um, <clears throat> you know, and that's respect from the lowest things to the referees, to the opposing team, to our fans, to the opposing teams, everybody. I want us to earn respect. So um, that's the best answer I can give. Do you have any concerns? Do you think at all about your future here as losses mount? Is that something that is, I don't know, I wouldn't say distraction, is something that is on your mind at all? No, not really. I, if I live my life um, not be true to myself, um, I probably would. But I live my life in faith. I live my life knowing that, um, to be honest with you, Am I doing it right by the young people? And every single day, uh, I question that. And what I mean by question it, when the day is over, did I cheat Scott Clark? Nine out of 10 days, no. Did I cheat Trey White? No. Did I cheat Brandon? No. I live my life that way, not worrying about the outside. Hopefully that answers. Thought Brandon was very good in the first half. Um, I thought that was a little bit of a, a lull in the second. Um, at the end of the first half, I'm saying to him, "You should finish this game with 30 and 25, dominate the game, will us to a win." That requires great energy, great effort, great concentration, um, and great focus. So I'm proud of the way. 
played, but it doesn't do any justice because we lost. Kenya, as these losses do now, has your message to your team changed at all? Is there any sort of difference as far as how you're handling it or how the coaches are handling it? And, and ultimately, what is the response of your players to? I mean, are they taking this personally? Is there kind of any emotion? What, what does that look like? Well, you know, young people always say the right thing. And um, as a teacher, I'm constantly saying, okay, are you sure what you're saying is being exuded through your words? So your actions have to coexist with what your words are saying. Um, and I want them to understand what that means. So obviously they're saying, we can do this. We know what our goals are. We know that we can do it. We gotta be connected a little bit more. We're close, we're close, we're close. We all got to hold each other accountable as teammates more um, than are you doing it. And um, some of that, you know, is hit or miss, and they have to figure that out, and we have to help them as coaches figure it out. Thank you all.